Many of the students in these desks also sit in the pews of St. Pius V Church, a historically Portuguese parish. Though the neighborhood has changed, devotion to Our Lady of Fatima hasn't. They were just walk, running around playing, and then an angel just, Mary just appeared upon them. The third graders know the story of Francisco, Jacinta, and Lucia by heart. And 100 years ago, Our Lady of Fatima. The apparitions, the secrets, even the miracle of the dancing sun. They all sort. They said the sun was dancing in the sky, and they said the sun was brighter than usual, and it didn't burn people's eyes. I wish I was there to do that because I like staring at the sun. Some say they wish they could meet the Virgin Mary too, planning out what they would say if she chose them. I would just kneel down and pray to them. Mm -hmm. and what, if, what if you didn't know at the time? If I didn't know, I would ask them who they are mm -hmm. because we're not supposed to talk to strangers. <laughs> I would record it and I would watch it every day. <laughs> the students will be watching tomorrow as Pope Francis canonizes Francisco and Jacinta. Amazed the soon-to-be saints are the children they read about. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. But how about the last one? Many Catholics hope and pray Lucia's canonization is not far away. The church is still examining the 97-year-old nun's life. For Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.